The movies often portray undercover sting operations to bust drug or prostitution rings. Once the money's exchanged, we usually see an arrest. But what happens if the undercover cops take it further and perform illegal acts themselves? The 1989 Alaska case of Vaden v. State explores this very question in the context of some unlawful hunting and fishing. Douglas Vaden and Floyd Saltz were both hunting guides in Alaska. After Fish and Wildlife Protection officers received a complaint alleging Vaden's illegal hunting practices, an undercover agent from Alaska's Department of Fish and Game posed as a hunter and secured Vaden's guiding services. During the undercover agent's hunt with Vaden, fox season was closed. However, the agent shot four foxes from Vaden's aircraft with Vaden's gun. Vaden also operated the aircraft such that the agent could shoot the foxes. Vaden later took the dead fox bodies to Anchorage. Another undercover agent sought Saltz's services for a hunting and fishing trip. On the trip, the two illegally used spinning fishing gear to catch fish and illegally shot and killed a cow and bull. After killing the fish and wildlife, the two wasted them. Both Saltz and Vaden were later charged. Vaden was convicted in trial court as an accomplice to illegal hunting. Vaden appealed, claiming he couldn't have been found to have aided and abetted a crime because the agent didn't commit illegal acts. The appellate court affirmed, finding that illegal acts were actually committed by the agent, but that unlike Vaden, the agent could assert a public authority justification defense. The appellate court also determined that Vaden didn't adequately establish an entrapment defense or due process violations. Vaden appealed to the state Supreme Court. Saltz was also convicted in trial court on multiple charges, a judgment the appellate court affirmed. On appeals, the state Supreme Court agreed to review the common issues in the Saltz and Vaden matters together.